guys and happy Saturday and look who I got little Miss Kelsey I know a couple of you have been asking about her I know that my past few videos have only been with the new baby Miss Cameron but you know how it is when we get a new baby in the nursery we just want to spend so much time with them and when I got her she came in the day before I had to leave out to go out of the country and so I had like 24 hours with her and when I got back home, I just wanted to spend so much time with her to try to make up that time. And I am truly loving that baby. But since we have Miss Kelsey on today, this is going to be about her. So you know I love the sleeper and it is Sleeper Saturday. You've seen this like probably the third time in one of my videos. I love this Burt's Bee sleeper. And she's the third baby that you've seen it on. It's been a few months. Some of you may recognize it and some of you may not. Um, but I think that it fits her so well. And I don't normally put the belly plates on my baby, but I just love the way that it fits Miss Kelsey. Especially when I want to show her tummy in this sleeper. And you can see how realistically, look how her belly button looks. Yogi did an awesome job on this baby. She is definitely the oldest in the nursery and definitely a goodie. And she cannot go anywhere. <laughs> she is one of my favorites definitely and definitely she's daddy's favorite awesome because he always says that i could sell any of the other babies but definitely not her she sure cannot go she is so realistic that it's scary sometimes you can have her like sitting in a swing or laying down and when people come into my house i always forget that i have my babies out because i'm just so used to having them all over the place and people are like oh you have a baby and i'm like no she's a doll and they would get up close to her and some people would even hold her and still can't tell that she is a doll. So definitely that is like the ultimate feeling that I love in this community with um, collecting reborns, that, that realism. And when you have that feeling, oh my God, then you know you have an awesome baby. And especially for me, I tend to, when I get a new baby, I compare them to my most realistic baby that's in my collection. So definitely anybody that comes in gets compared to this baby girl right here. And if they look dolly or they don't seem to look as realistic as she does, which I know that some artists have different styles in different way of how they bring their realism to it, but I match them up to her. She is just like so amazing. Daddy calls her Chubba Chubba. <laughs> She's my little fat fat. Because he does not know any of the baby's names. He gives them all nicknames. So, but while I'm on here, I definitely want to do her Londa's tag, Where Do You Shop? And for me, oh my gosh, it's not just one size fit all, one store that's my favorite or anything. Because I'm the type of person that likes to mix and, mix and match outfits. So I will mix and match brands if I think they coordinate you know well together I can get something at one place and I'm like oh my god that would look so great with something else that I got from someplace else but like you hear me talk about a lot one of my definite places I like to go Amazon <laughs> I'm a prime member so I definitely take advantage of that free two-day shipping and it definitely spoils you because when you shop anywhere else online and it takes like a week or a few weeks if you're ordering from overseas then you're like very impatient because you're used to something coming to your door within 24 to 48 hours. But definitely Amazon and my method with Amazon, I will put things on the watch list, especially if they're more expensive because you can find Kissy Kissy on there for babies. You can also find Jamboree clothes on there and I think Rosie Pope, if I'm not mistaken, and some other ones on there that can be a little bit pricey sometimes. And I'll put those on the watch list. And when I think that the price goes down low enough to my liking and when I'm ready to purchase them then I would go ahead and just buy it at that time or they'll just sit there I have things that have been on my watch list for a year or two or something like that and I still hadn't purchased them yet but I just thought that they were cute but I definitely like Jimbery clothes every once in a while I love Janie and Jack but when I found out that Jimbery is like the sister company to Janie and Jack I mostly gear towards Jimbery but I do love going in there every so often just to see the different styles that they have and also see if you can find that other places cheaper. And I do shop at Walmart 
It depends what they have going on. For a while, the Walmart that was closest to me did not have clothes that I liked. But I went in there today and I saw some cute things that were in the, um, I forgot the brand. Let me see. What's the brand? Oh, Garanimals. So I did get a couple of mix and match outfits in Garanimals. The only thing I hate about the Garanimals is that around the collar, it seems so stretched out and so big. So I'm probably going to have to put a stitch in those items, you know, around the collar. But I did get a couple of outfits from there today. I was just surprised that they had some different prints. So that was so I was excited. <laughs> I haven't bought anything for a baby in a while because I was just trying to curb my spending. And we're getting ready to go on a vacation too. But you know, when something's like two dollars, you'd be like, oh my god, I can only get it's only two dollars, three dollars. But when you start getting more than one thing, those things start to add up. But I got like three mix and match outfits I think so I didn't do too bad because I can go overboard sometimes when I go in on something I go in so that is good for me <laughs> but I won't do a haul video um, I'll probably wait until you guys see those outfits on the babies I got a couple of outfits that will definitely coordinate with a couple of the babies so they'll have like a twinsy day so you will see that coming up soon and my son just walked into the room Hi, Joshua. Hi. <laughs> so, um, back to what I was saying about where I shop for my babies. Another place I like going to, Target is a good place. I love the, um, the Cat and Jack brand out of there. They are so cute, but it is expensive for me. So, I usually try to wait until those outfits go on sale before I would decide to get those. And, um... A couple of Carter's outfits are cute. Um, if I do get Carter's, I go to the Carter's outlet. But I want something that usually is not bright colored. I like muted colors. Okay, now I'm back. Sorry, my son came to tell me my aunt, my mom was looking for me. So, where was I? Um, oh, about... I love the Cat and Jack brand at um, Target and I usually wait till that price goes down before I would purchase um, that from there and oh I was talking about Carter's brand getting it from the outlet and we also have like different stores in the outlet baby stores but our outlet is not the prices aren't really outlet friendly I would say that but um, I also like shopping at consignment sales um, they usually come around semi-annually around here. There's usually different ones, but the one that I like going to, you can go and find normally the hard to find brands around here. Um, the more expensive brands, you might be able to find a whole outfit for like $5, maybe even $10 when originally it was like $50 or something like that. And I like, um, Doing that, when I find things like that, I get it's like finding a gem. <laughs> I get excited about those type of buys. And um, I don't buy that many shoes for my babies. I, I don't tend to put shoes on them very often. I did go through a little period where I was buying shoes for them, but they don't really wear them. Or if I put them on them, they don't have it on them for very often. I would take pictures and then I would just take those off. And to me, whether I am an online shopper or whether I'm in-store I preferably prefer online for certain brands or certain things. If I know how they already fit, then I feel comfortable ordering online. But then there's certain brands that I just have to see, touch, and feel in person. And certain stores are like that as well. Because when you go to the discount stores like the TJ Maxx, the Marshalls, and things like that, their fitting is usually off. So... I definitely have to go inside those stores to definitely see in person how they look. And a lot of times, their clothes seem to run small. Even in adult size clothes, they run like a size small or whatever than what you would normally fit. But um, that is my take on this. I think this was actually a fun tag. I really enjoyed this. Um, this baby girl. She is still down for her afternoon nap. She just had a bottle. I'm going to check her diaper. Do a 
little pixie. No, she hadn't done anything yet. So. Just sound like she was tooting in her sleep. Just wanted to make sure. Or maybe she's just working it up and it's getting ready to come out. I don't know. I just love letting that belly button show. Oh, gosh. Oh, if I didn't mention it before, she is the Noah Sleep by Reva Schick. And she was reborn by Yolanda Boy Glover of Now Babies, Babies, Babies. She used to be of Eternal Hugs Nursery. So if you type Eternal Hugs Nurseries in on YouTube, you would find out she used to have a YouTube channel. And she was Bad Chick Yogi 77. But she also has a Facebook group. Um called babies 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 now and where she does like post pictures of babies she has for sale i don't think she's doing any customs or anything like that i'm mentioning this because i get a lot of questions about my babies and i usually try to mention who the artists are and what the sculpts are but sometimes i do forget i mean and that's just for that purpose i'm not the type that just likes to say oh my god i got a yogi baby <laughs> you know or whatever like that um but it's usually because people ask this question a lot. So I try to give you that information. And I hope you guys are having a great weekend. It's like gotten a little bit cool down here. But in the sun, it feels pretty good. So this morning we went out and we finally saw the movie Boss Baby. It was so cute. And me, like I get impressed by the littlest things. Like I was just so surprised. I didn't know that they remodeled the local theater around here and they had like recliners. <laughs> so it was almost like being in your living room. You can lounge back and you have your feet up. It, some people actually fell asleep, but I can actually see how you could do that because it's so easy to do it. It was so comfortable. I, I didn't want to leave. It was awesome. <laughs> but there's another movie we definitely want to go see. The Smurf movie just came out. And I think something else is coming out. My son knows he's like clockwork. He can tell you what movie came out on what day and everything like that. I say, how excited you are about that? Talk to me about your work that way. <laughs> your schoolwork, right? So, um, and I posted on Instagram that I didn't know which baby I was going to take on vacation because we're going away for spring break. Super excited about that too. Oh my gosh. Can't wait. And um, I think I narrowed it down. But I will not tell you guys. You will see it in a video. Um, you probably won't see it until I come back. But I do plan on doing a little bit of vlogging there. And doing a couple videos with whatever baby I decide to take. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. You know I try to bring a little bit of variety to my channel. Um, keep it different. If there's a baby that you want to see that I haven't shown in a while. Um, let me know in the comment section. You know, Or if there's a specific type of video you want to see me do day in a life is very demanding it takes a lot to be able to do those type of videos but I am willing to give it a try if somebody wants to see that um but I want to say thanks for stopping by because there are so many channels you could be watching and I really do appreciate every single one of you and I try to comment back to anyone that comments to me because I want to show my appreciation that you at least took the time to watch my video one and you also commented because you don't have to do that you know and I like having that back and forth dialogue with you guys and getting to know you guys and you coming over into my house into my world a little bit so and let me know again who plan on going to the doll show in North Carolina I know there was a couple of people that already mentioned it so me and Miss Tanya will definitely be there so if you see us Come up and say hi. Don't be shy. But until next time, from me and Miss Kelsey, we'll say see you later.